sure it's not one that we did. Nope, it's not. <laughs> Last time. Just me. Okay. Hello, everyone. Good. Welcome to Train Simulator 2013 with Tristan Buffalo and Eddie the D. And we haven't done this one, Hello, so everyone. don't worry. We haven't? Okay, good. Christopher Lee turned 91 today. Excellent. Fact. Apparently, have a half assembled train which is scheduled to depart Shelby within the hour. Finished by adding grain humpers and the central beam cars to the blah 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 blah. blah. And also, we're rolling very slightly downhill to start with. I don't quite know how because we've got 75% brakes. Oh, there we go, we stop now. Right, let's have a look at what we're doing. Because I have no clue, I didn't read. Couple hoppers to the front of. blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. So, I do believe we need to couple. Uh, there we go, that's nice and simple. All we need to do now is head forward and couple what's in front of us. Alright, not too difficult. Sounds good. We're in the same, we're in the same train we were last time, I think. The small little green one. Which is very nice. Very nice for shunting and such like. Sorry. Gentle. And violent. And that's mouth. a great start. Reverse back before changing direction and making the way to the westbound mixed freight yard. Let's see where we're headed. Go around reverse point one. Let's have a look. Where is reverse point one? There we go. We need to do that and then head forward. Okay. Reverse, brakes off, and some but not all power. There we go. Alright, so what have you been doing this fine bank holiday weekend where it's actually had nice weather for almost all the days, which is like unheard of in England? Um, I... Saturday, what did you do Saturday? I don't know what I did Saturday. Sunday, we went out in the evening for a meal, hence we couldn't record train simulator. Oh well, we got it done today. Cool. And today, we went today? for a walk in the countryside and barbecue and we had a barbecue. Oh nice! Test the barbecue. But we forgot the burgers. What did you have so in your barbecue? We were supposed to have burgers and sausages but we forgot the burgers so we just had sausages. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We can go. What about you? Is there anything interesting? <laughs> Not this weekend, no. I've been at work three and four days. Friday, Sunday, Monday I've been working. It's insane. Exactly. Exactly. Your money is. But in the past week, I've been up to London doing work experience. I filmed stuff in the TV studio at, at uh, Guildford, and yeah, it's been crazy. I haven't had a break till now. In the last eight days, I've been busy. So you thought you'd relax. For some hence why there's been like, yeah, and hence why there's been like almost no videos as well. Give me because I mind. just. Too drained. Yeah. Yours and stuff that was recorded like three weeks ago in the GTA stuff. Oh yeah. The GTA stuff's quite funny too. Okay, we need to stick switch ahead so we go through our sweet grass and sub main south. That's a nice path. Sweet grass. Let's give a look. Did it does. Yeah, points here we go. Sweet grass. Oh south yeah. South. Oh yeah. So yeah. Well, I bought System Shock 2 the other week when it came out on Steam because I've heard it's meant to be amazing. Yeah. And I finally got around to actually downloading it now. And there's 30 megabytes left, and then I'm kind of tempted to just sit here and play it for like five hours. <laughs> then why not, hey? Just get in it. Exactly. Because I mean, I've heard it's like awesome. It's made by the same people that um, recently did what's its face. Um, what's its face? I'm Bioshock Infinite. I think Irrational Games, I believe, are like part of what well, they've sort of evolved. Because I mean, System Shock 2 is an old game. Yeah. Old game. Yeah. How is Bioshock Infinite anyway? Uh, oh, it's really cool. It's like you've got like the greatest world ever made. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's all just so awesome. But then. Like, the combat and stuff is not amazing. It's okay. No. 
it's okay. like it's fine but then Ooh. it's not incredible okay that was weird my desktop background cycled and it suddenly went from a really dark one straight to a really bright one and jump. <laughs> <laughs> there were lots of webcams suddenly be like, no! Yeah, we were touching things like that. <laughs> apparently, when they were employing people to work on um, Bioshock Infinite, apparently they wouldn't employ anyone who hadn't worked on a game that had scored above an 85 Metacritic score or something like that. <laughs> High oh, standards. Switch is already But yeah, no, the... Okay, we can't go above 20, we're doing 40. Ah. No, no, the world they created is really cool. The story is awesome as well, but the gameplay is okay. It could be better, but it's it's fine. Okay. I could put it up with... Um... This this game that came out recently, Call of Juarez Gun Gunslinger. It looks quite fun, like funky. I watched a video on it earlier, and basically it's like some some yeah. guy is like sitting in a pub, sort of talking to these people about all these like old legends of like the Wild West. But you like play them through, and then sometimes you'll like rewind because something was said that wasn't quite right, and yeah. it just looks fun. Please save Total Biscuit did a good video. Yeah. Otherwise we crash. Oh, thank God. I thought we were going to crash into another train then. You can always just check the map. <coughs> well, no, it was sitting just, just after the jun <laughs> junction. And I was like, oh, what's going to happen? But no, we've stopped. we passing. No? Okay. Good, good, good. So what games have you been playing then? I have actually recently been playing a lot of Battlefield 3 on Xbox. Oh. You've been getting back into the battlefield yeah. before four comes out. And Fable Three. Because I've played three. Fable Three. I haven't. No. It's a very good game. It's good, but it's well, also I've, a I've, I was going to say I've heard that some of the others are like maybe the second Fable I think was better. But I've never played any of the Fable games, so I can't really say anything. But I do believe that the latest thing they did, it was a small thing, was actually like developed in Guildford, if I remember rightly. Is it? I don't know where I'm pulling that fact from, but um, it's like Fable Origins or something, I can't remember. Let me have a look. Oh, is that the Connect? I have Google. The Xbox Connect version. Uh, possibly. Mm. Uh, Fable 3 is Fable. It's like a really good storyline, a really good game, but yeah, the way they've okay. made it is there's a lot of like graphical errors and glitches and things like that where it could be better. Like just little animations you do, like when you're supposed to dig up something, the animations were like really bad, like they were made. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it's little things that spoil it a tiny bit. Here it is, it's yeah, Lionhead Studios, they're based in Guildford, which is pretty oh. cool. Are they? Yeah, I know, uh, I know they have it's a like Criterion it. Games at Guildford and a Supermassive Games at Guildford. Yeah. Lion Head. Lionhead. Ooh, we're about to couple some more freight. Are you excited? Yeah, headquarters, Eddie? Guildford, Surrey, UK. And so many awesome people. Sweet. And we want to couple you. All looks to be in order. You can now uncouple your switcher. Which is my Peter switcher. Molyneux, of course. Peter Molyneux is head of Lionhead. Oh god, System Shock just opened and it changed every resolution. Oh dear. Is what which is my switcher, Eddie? What do you mean which is your switcher? I think my switcher is the, the driving car. Ow. I'm really bad at train simulator. Let's Ooh. just Let's just uncouple it. Doop doop doop. I can't uncouple it. <laughs> Okay, there must be a way to get this game to run in windowed mode, surely. Let's see if it's the classic dash windowed. Uh, properties. The center beam cars are located in the next siding, however they are blocked by two lumber cars. Move it out of the way first before picking up the center beams. God, who, put, who parked those lumber cars on the way? Losers. Okay, dash, okay that didn't work. Mm. Wait, what 
what am I doing? Lumber cars. Hold on a sec. Let's have a look. See what we've got. Where are we? Center player. There we go. So we need to couple those, but there's some other stuff in the way. Okay. I'm just going to reverse and I hope I know what I'm doing. Reverse. We go so much faster without having all any freight. The train's awesome. Oh yeah. Oh. Look at it go. Yo. Oh yeah. SF. I remember someone commented on that video. Uh, with what yes. Is. What is it meant? Where is it? I know the last two. It's coming. I think the last two are Santa Fe. SF is it Santa is. Fe. It is Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Thank you to Velocity in Stereo. Thank you very much. If you can help me and then, simulate this some more. And then of course, as always, our fans, they don't just put the name, they just add like so much of a detail, like it was formed in the 1996 merger of Burlington Northern and the Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe. Burlington Norton formed in 1970 and the Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe was 1859. Okay, so the facts are flowing, man. <laughs> That's quite interesting, actually. Okay, I think these two that I've just passed are the two I need to clear out of the way first. Okay. Hang on a sec. Let's do this. And let's hope I don't fail. Let's the last one I can't remember. I think I failed one. But it's just in the other. You, fa you failed one, but you didn't realise why. If yeah, I remember right. I think it was. I think it was because I accidentally uncoupled the wrong thing. Right at the end. Um, like so at the end of the. Yeah, I effectively completed it. I'm gonna. I think I did. It, it, it yeah. Did matter. you see? Um. Did you see the, the Curiosity Cube thingy the jig? I did. I did. The Peter Paul Cube thingy. Yeah. You did see that it got finished. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I saw the video. You saw about that. Well. Right, and stuff. Yeah. Pretty cool, isn't it? I think it's. Cool. Be god of your own game to make all the decisions and everything. That's quite clever, actually. It's like, do you want to be evil and make the game just like incredibly difficult, mm -hmm. but limit the amount of money you get, or do you just want to try and get as much money as possible? Well, I don't know. It's kind of like if you make a really good game, that that guy will actually earn quite a bit of money. But if he makes a really bad game, he won't earn much at all. So it's kind of it's an interesting scenario. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh man. Feels good to know that Peter Molyneux was born in Guildford. Excellent. The creator of Dungeon Keeper, Theme Park, and Fable. Awesome. Guildford but yeah, no. Popular very cool. gaming. Well, games developers and like that. I thought. I think there's another one actually. Kuju. Kuji or Kuju, something like that. I think they did um, Battalion Wars. Oh no, I don't want to place. Oh, um, what is it? I just dumped these. Ooh, I think the siding okay. next to it. That looks empty. Might well be Kuju. Okay, it might well be Kuju. Kuju Entertainment. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're based in. Uh, Shelford, which is pretty close to Guildford. Uh, uh, rightly. Yeah, no, they do, because that's exactly the... But the, well, the only reason I know that is because I go past them on my bike sometimes when I'm cycling to college. Mm. And I see their little, um, like, company reserved car park things, and I saw Kuju, and I was like, I'm sure I know that name from somewhere. And yeah, formed in 1998 in Shelford, Surrey. Yeah! I know that place. More... It's awesome! Sweet. Man! So many games people. Pop in and say hi one day. I'm sure they'd be really happy about that. Hey, you make good games. What? What? Wait, what? What? Hang on. Really? Give me a second. Yeah, what? Wait, this is incredible. Wow. If it's what I already know, then... 
Hang on. Wait. That's right. They m they made a rail simulator game. Did they? They actually made a rail simulator game. But hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. What? RSD. Hang on. Okay, so Kuju started this rail simulator thing. Then it got take. Then um, the thing got taken over by Rail Simulation Developments Limited, yep. who released a much anticipated sequel to the first game called Railworks. And what was Train Simulator 2012 preceded by? I think it was Railworks 3, which was like Railworks 2. <laughs> the mind boggles. <laughs> Train Simulator is made like less than half an hour away from my house. I also have a feeling, I've read somewhere that they have an office or something in Godalming. Man, we need to, we need to get on this. One day we'd actually need to get outside actually and stop playing need... games and go and find these places. Find these people. Well, I'm, I'm hoping to get a nice camera for filming, so maybe we could go along and be like, so, we're outside the, the developers of Train Simulator. 2013. Just over there is a train. That would be cool. I have to do some research after this video ends. And I'm going to have a look now. Um, but that would ruin my research. No, well, we can dual research. I'll, drive, I'll just drive this nice, pretty green train. 